We are the bulwark of the north. Behold the unyielding motherland. Through the teachings of the great orthodoxy, this world's end is kept at bay. Welcome on back, everyone, to the War Warhammer 3 in Part 24 of our Zarita Katarina Immortal Empires campaign. We are here with the Hockland Long Rifles and our Ice Witch, or I guess our, yes, our Ice Witch to be uh, holding the line here against the Scaling Tribe, or what are you, what are you guys called? No one really cares. You, all you Norskins look the same. Oshka, the Berg Burglar, is coming on across the field here. Uh, we have our, like I said, our Hockland Long Rifles up front to bother them as they come across the field. We'll have them pulling on back. The, the idea, though, is to have both of their skirmish cav uh, rushing down the middle instead of trying to flank us, because they are going to be shot up to pieces by these long rivals as they do so. Uh, we should have good good line of sight as they cross the field here. Uh, there's two sets of rivers here to slow any of the infantry that might be trying to pursue, but we have the Father Niklaus's uh, flag here, which allows us to have striders. So they should have no trouble getting across the uh, river themselves to start finding new targets to uh, smash on into. Let's get to it. Make sure our units are all in god mode. Sweet. We can have ourselves a lovely cannon barrage to start. Let's do it. Open it. Kick, kick the button first. Go. Oh, they're going to try to flank us anyway. We'll see, won't we? Rom fires. All three shots. I thought I'd try to stagger them so they would not hit the same target, but we were a little bit, a little bit off there, looks like. Rom, if you can hit these broader horsemen, I would say do it. Hawk of the Mong Rivals picking off some of the broader champions on the front line there. Little Grom wasting their shots just a little bit. Keep those shots a-coming. Go ahead and use the Power Stone on you to recharge some of our magics here. Try to use the Ice Shard this other side. And then fire on through to the other set of Horse Masters. To slow this group down a little bit as they come across the field there. And made it through there pretty quickly, all things. Alright, you guys come on back then, the long rifles. Armored Cossars, let's go ahead and rotate a bit yourselves. Ice Guard, you too. Get fired on them as soon as you can. Let's slow all of these groups as they're advancing. We got the little Grom firing both of them at the same time. They're gonna move in and chuck some stuff at our boys and get absolutely decimated in the process. We're gonna fire here if we can there, lads. Overcast the Ice Maiden's kiss here. We got a little bit of a different cast on it there. I have been a little bit early, but it gets both of those berserkers. Alright, lads, fall on back. Skirmish Cav dealt with. Go ahead and rotate. Little Grom. We're picking off this Lord. In fact, all three of you began. Ranger shots on the same Lord there. Look at that. Amelia gets battered away. I am the Get a little bit closer. We go for the potion of toughness. We really need to. The slow these clowns on down. Cross Maidens gets through here to again slow. Just get as much icy damage as we can. Not bad. These lads are going to try to charge through. Finish off these Marauder Horse Masters first. Most of the javelins should be a complete whiff. Weaken their damage. Go ahead and fall back behind our lines. And move to the side here. Is the Vite Warriors move in. Auckland Long Rifles. Finish off this Lord for me. Slow and weaken this group. Nice hard fire here. Put the overcast, blend it through both of these units of marauders. The yoink. Get the uh, frost shard after the uh, hunters there. Lord is uh, sniped out rather quickly. Things in the woods, go ahead and move in here. 
Let the Snow Leopard push them forward into these Marauder Horse Masters. You three, off of fire at will. We'll go ahead and delete these uh, Marauder Horse, uh, Horse Huntsmen up front. Chaos Warriors moving in. Blast the ice across this front line one last time. Save your comrades. Horse Masters getting obliterated things in the woods. Doing their names proud. Their horrifying glowing eyes in the forest. All right. Another fantastic win for us. We'll go ahead and have you guys stay back here. Let all of our ranged troops do their damage. I'll catch you all in a moment. All right. Oh, it was the Tong. Now, like I said, it's scaling Tong. Doesn't matter. They all wear cheese graters on their heads, so it's hard to tell. We have got 104 kills, or at least they snagged 104 kills on us, which is not good for them. All things doubling our, our forces didn't seem to work out for them at all. Little Grom, and don't leave home without it if you're the Ice Court. Uh, let's go ahead and grab us some replenishment. They We've got plenty more forces to break. Station. Ice switch. Now, yeah, we push forward, it's going to be a trap. I'd like to sit back and do another ambush, but we're going to take a lot of damage. Can we do anything to minimize damage taken? Really don't like spending the points on reassuring presence this early, so let's go ahead and grab Death Frost and Frost Shields for the ward save. Well, it's, it's not ward save, it's armor and missile block chance. And then for the just zapping of enemy heroes and lords. A wondrous tool indeed. We can do some heroes. Possibly a hag witch would be perfect for minimizing damage from Seeking attrition. Intrigues. Since we have to deal with it so often just from even just the territories on our borders. Ulrich, you're gonna be a big problem, aren't you? Frost maiden. Makes sense. But we have ourselves another siege to get to. Down. Alexander, the crystal spires need to fall. Uh, we've got the Grom and the Frostworms to make it happen. The only thing I would like to have is a nice witch. And I probably should have got rid of one of our armored costars here for Mishka. And that is a lesson learned. I think all the same. We're going to go ahead and take these walls right on down. Let's go ahead before I do. Do you have the max to your wall? Yes, the greater raw energy is a little bit terrifying. We can do it. Crystal spires. I see no crystals and nothing but tattered towers. No spires here. I'm thinking we strike from both of these angles are really not great. This one's actually an angled wall, which gives us a couple of places to get on up to the top of, but it's going to be those greater towers will be blasting us the entire time. Over on this side is not much better. Uh, but the other towers are a little bit further away, so I think that's the one we're going to go for. They'll have a little less likelihood of, of jumping on these towers. These are going to suck quite badly, but we'll we'll make do. In fact, this one might be one where we need to be up closer. Well, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's not let's not fall for that. Pull everything back as far as we can. The motherland's finest. I don't know if we'll really actually get the Threlty back far enough. We need our missile troops. I say the armored Kossars are the most expendable. The Threlty are not. We'll just deploy the Threlty like so. I'm going to have the Frostworms like we did last time. We'll have the Frostworms trying to catch those uh, greater bolts. Same thing with our Lord and uh, Patriarch. Get them all together. We can make sure we don't have the heal, but we do have the extra vigor, which is nice. Order without shields in the very back as well, because you can take so much damage otherwise. And like we saw previously, the bear sleds are very good at getting through the walls. We don't have a lot of room to maneuver here without getting hit by towers. I've got a rogue fly that's made it out when our, our windows were open earlier. Nurgle is working against us in many ways. Thankfully, it's just one rogue fly, otherwise, our, our uh, recording will be paused instantly. Now let's go ahead and have the little Grom up here on the hill. I like the hood they get targeted as well, but that'll be all right. Uh, so main characters. Frontline infantry and armored Kossars, gunpowder, proper bros, and then uh, good old war sleds. 
Let's do it. Wait and send you guys after different gatehouses. Spread out their uh, defenders. Which again to dodge. These ones are actually the cornate ones. They'll actually, they will hurt a little bit more. Easier to dodge, I think, though. Now we'll get too close to the, the pink horrors. Keep moving on around. I'm going to have Arcady go out to the gates. Uh, give me that ward save and the heal, since it's a repeatable heal. Knock those towers down. One more volley. Actually, I think two more volleys should do it. Sleds are moving in very quickly. Love to see it. Beautiful. One more Grom shot here. Give them link orders here, that way they're moving around. That's one tower down. Both of you now fire on the other. Keep moving. Very good hits. Gatehouse is getting uh, chewed on up too. Best thing about fighting demons here also is when they don't have the flying demons, it is very easy. To harass. Well, they have they have the one set of raw flies, but it's very easy to harass them with our pair sleds, which we're going to be doing. Let's not get shut up too much by the pink horrors there. Keep moving. Go for the winter song of uh, sunlight there to refill their uh, refill their vigor. Now that's a tower down. Next up, Grom. I'd say just delete the exalted pinks. Uh, the one that is having a hard time fire, just knock over this wall here. That way we actually can get in. These uh, corner shots are a little bit hard to get through. Did you not hit? Oh, they're not up on the hill. Uh, you should be able to be right there. Really? No, just pretending it can't. That wall will go down pretty soon. We can do swoody fools. Well, he's having a really hard time getting through, so let's go ahead and send in one of the frost worms because they actually have siege attacker. Increase your charge bonus on the way in. And now, as for our infantry, time to move them on in. We'll have the Cossars move up to this side. In fact, we'll have all three Cossars move in this side. Most of the stealthy moving up this way. Like so. Right, that wall is just about gone. We wasted a little bit of ammo there. Knock over the next set. Let me go after these towers when they come in. Through the gates, we are there. And they've rotated a good deal of their, their forces. I think the gates on the side as well, and this is the demonettes. That's the plan there, demonettes. You come out beyond the walls, we're gonna mess you up. Even if you don't, we're likely still gonna mess because still gonna mess you up. Cannonballs do some pretty good damage. Move up so we can get ready to fire on the fort wall here. Or the uh, piercing tower that just went in. That section's about to go. Boys are almost in. Alright, so they put the demon notes up on top. Interesting. I want to say our sleds can move fast enough where they can get past them and then uh, just duel with the raw flies later in. Alright, sleds, we're going to go ahead and go all the way around. They're not enjoying getting shots. They're going to come on down off the walls. Make, makes sense. Arcady. There's a whole heap of clowns in there to crunch. Get to it. What else advance? This side. Really? I mean, they're getting, they're getting picked off pretty quickly. 
I wouldn't even mind dropping everything here's leadership. Because we can hopefully get rid of them that much faster. As soon as they come down off the wall, you try to push through. Brunch them. You guys take the walls. Elite Zargard in. You guys take up a fifth position here. Pistoliers inside the walls. Go, go, go. What else do you head behind them? I really wish you had the heals, buddy. All right. Get our sleds inside. Little Grom, they finished off that tower. Perfect. They're about to get in a new one. See if you guys can't take out these spawn. That'd be awesome. Hippity hoppity boys are coming on through. Nice of creatures. We're going to go ahead and send them through into this unit. Our Patriarch's taking a little bit more damage than I would like. Zargar, get on down there. Zelzi up top. Get our Svelte inside the walls, then. Uh, bear sleds are here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and send them right into the back. And these bear sleds completely juked them. Let's send them in to run over these uh, these exalted. Actually, let's let's capture the zone first. Pull a little bit of the AI. Uh, their their work against them. Break everything here a little bit faster. Cap the zone. Cap the zone. They're not sure what they really want to do there. Fair enough. Okay, go ahead and give him a charge. You as well. Oh, yeah, just gotta keep them moving. Stand bogged down and getting uh, chewed on by demonettes is the worst idea. We'll draw them into this area, then we'll, we'll turn around. All right, beasties, come on away for a moment. Let me get you guys charged back in. Uh, let's go ahead and push these sleds through to the backs of these armored cosars. That way they're not getting taken out too much. Meet them. Meet those bloodletters head on. Oh, well done. Earth blades. Uh, they did send the uh, the whole bunch back after these guys, which is perfect. We'll just sit outside the settlement again. Sleds come on through, run down these blood letters. Realize our little Grom are in very close. Close range little Grom shots. Zargar, take a little bit more of a forward position here for me. This direction and bear sleds start to take a little bit of damage. Result of blood letters got crunched though. Let's take them back into the plague bears. Keep advancing, boys. Other sleds are outside the wall. What are you guys gonna do about it? Right, let's bring them over here to oh, oh, let's bring them around. That could have got real bad real quick. Zargar, get in there. Put them down. Uh, sleds let's advance through. Spelty on the walls. Please start firing soon. Four sleds, just smash into them. They're gonna try to check those nades. You just gotta get in there. Hold the line, boys. Frontal charge into plague bears is not not super fun. Use that uh, charge push through to get out of there. All stability. Fire here on these exalted plague bears. Our front line held the line pretty well. That was not the best of our Dodge's song of Winter Sunlight, but we'll, we'll take it. The point blank uh, little Grom shots. Probably not amazing here. Actually, see if you can hit these raw flies. Sleds are coming all the way around. I see no reason to, to slow them. Oh, really? They're not, they're not getting to hit any of them. 
soon as you you flies get closer, it's over. We got walls to melt. See, we got all sorts of stuff going here. And get in here and smash the back of these plague bears. Almost time for you to get some more uh, skills there, bud. I love the heavy sleds, just they're a little bit slow. Use our guard move up the side. Air sleds moving in. Right, save our heavy war sleds. Use that push through. So don't see all firing on the same unit there should be pretty devastating. Holy rough lies. Ron, can you knock down this tower for me? Heals, extra melee defense. Our enemies have one at a time Midas real bad. Yeah, little Grom, are you able to fight? Almost. Get around that corner and fire those shots immediately. Gotta be impressed with the gumption on him. Go ahead and help run these fools down, see if we get turned with the Stealth, so you get some shots in there. Try to catch these plague bearers. We'll frost worm push through. They do not want to fight our boyar. Here comes the rest of their troops, though. A lot of those exalted plague bearers. Alright, so let's see this going down off the walls. Taking position. Do these gates quickly there, beasties. We'll send one of the beasties to help. Boss Hog Papa here. March, march Little Grom. Knock over that barricade platform, you guys. Let's get up here. Crossworm back once more. They're smart enough not to advance too much further, otherwise, the Stelzi will tear into them. Come on, Zargar, you got this. Get us through these barricades. Stelzi come up the street just a little ways there. Run, shoot them. He slaves a favorite son. Zargar going ahead and advance. It seems like the enemy's AI has uh, decided to give up. They're just standing around. And a couple of them are moving still, but it's mostly just standing around doing nothing. Fall back here for all You're taking a lot of damage. Get here and capture that zone. Taking a lot of damage. You have to go ahead and pull away for me. You've got the Stelzi to end this battle here. No problem. If the enemy want to draw things out. Air sleds this way. I guess we only really need one of you. You bear sleds this way. The weakened ones will just sit around to stir the pot here. Uh, grenades coming down the street. You guys fire here. Lot fire here. We've captured that zone pretty quickly. Bear sleds get moving through. Zargar pushed through to this next group of Chaos Warriors. Blends through them. Our sleds are moving a little bit slow, though. I was a joke. Complete, complete trap. Our guard move in. Well, see, let's try not to get any friendly fire here. Bear sleds move in to help. Just these last group, couple groups of plague bearers that are being a little difficult. Is that ox riders there? It is indeed. Hearth blades get up here. Alright, little Grom, what can we really have you do? Get up here and go after these exalted plague bears. Just little by little chopping through. 
We don't really want the sleds stuck here, though, so... Come on back there, sleds. How did they juke me out with the box riders? They didn't need. Stenelzi, advance. Other Stenelzi, go ahead and advance, too. You guys fire on this group. Olsen's roar. Heavy so let's move in to help here. Armored Kossars. If we can just bog this group down, it'd be awesome. Advance and fire on these guys. Just a couple groups of Plague Bears left. And that group, group, group got crunched. Taking point. Taking point. Go ahead and come back around the corner with them. We got so many guys stuck in there. We can't really help out with the uh, gats. Oh, there's there's some there's some casualties. Unholy hand grenades being what they are. Ouch. I mean, but the AI thought we were gonna lose a lot more than this. Turns out, fools, you were very wrong. Glorious victor for Alexander. Alright, a decisive victory that we will absolutely take. I will go ahead and... 18,000 a second. That is so much gold. Break these and so down. we shall take it. Cool hardiness, can we turn back around and claim? Oh, yeah. Perfect, makes it even easier. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and More taxpayers. steal <laughs> the taxpayers. Uh, the Crystal Spires belongs to us now. So while we do have to some uh, to uh, come back and reclaim some settlements, that's all of their strongest stuff gone. So the only things we'll have to worry about now are ROR units and whatever they can recruit from these uh, smaller settlements. I mean, it gives get you all the way up to the Exalted Pink Horrors. Huh. Not really limited very much by minor settlements, are they? I'll go ahead and grab the last point into Reassuring Presence then, which normally I wouldn't, but we're up here in, in the Northern Way, so yes, please. Highborn son. Valerie, let's go. Icon of Strength. Cleansing Corruption appears is not going to be very useful. Passion for extra melee defense as well. Never yield. Never yield. Right, sweet. Yeah, we've got lots of land to retake here. Adarin. I also think we can easily move here on Uzgluck. He can make it back to defend, though, can he? So if we ta can't take Uzkalag without taking some serious damage, then we are going to be in a lot of trouble. But really, I don't see anything behind these walls that's all that scary. I see a couple of Taruks. I see the Hell Cannon. Now we've got this. Ekwazak. Ekwazak is you. We move on Uzkalag. And we take to the field immediately. This episode, chock full of battles, brought to you by the Ice Court. Now, let's see if we can crack the capital of the old Astrogoth. Right, so they have two sorcerers themselves. Oh. Okay, those dwarf settlements aren't very well defended at all. This is great. We're only ever going to deal with two towers at once. Well, that's perfect. They've got good firing positions for secondary groups of artillery that they might have, but now this is no problem. Beautiful battle map, though. And it's a oppressive, smoky, uh, cindery way. Alright, so we shall deploy... Where? Over here on this court actually seems pretty good. We can block anything coming at us from over here. There are the two hell, the, the hell cannon they have one of. So we'll deploy a little bit further back here with our two Grom units. Little Grom. Little Grom. We'll have uh, Katarin up front. Nereska up front. Use you back here with the warriors, which we will put in our standard checkerboard. Perfect. Actually, as I say this, yeah, no, we're gonna keep them in the, the checkerboard. Guard. Defenders of 
As long as we're not getting hit by these wall towers. These ones over here might be able to hit us. So we might have to, to advance pretty quickly here. Actually, in fact... Make sure they're safe. Put you two up front. If they choose, choose to fire at anyone to be the Patriarch. We'll spread the Glaive Ice Guard out just a little bit. Heavy sleds. I'm going to deploy all the way over here. Snow Leopard. I'm going to have right here to charge right over here after these gates. And then our Griffin Legion. Let me just deploy them over here. They are going to be very slow getting through gates themselves. We'll just wait until we actually knock some holes in the walls. We can send them through from there. Alright, I believe that's everyone. The main characters are archers, cavalry, and then the two Grom. Let's go for it. They do have the towers there as well. Let's go ahead and move up. Ice Queen, start hitting the gatehouse. Pretty good fireball there. Pretty good fireball indeed. Go ahead and bring the sleds around. Snow Leopard gets the gates. Catarin, can you go for an ice? Like good old Death Frost. Where are their casters? Are you a caster? He is. Enjoy Doom, fool. Okay, and it's going to take some shots, too. Oh, good grief. All right, so let's actually get these guys back away from the Hell Cannon. Beautiful. You guys fire here. In fact, I'm going to have one of you fire up on the Hell Cannon instead. You enjoy that, Death Frost. I've got more for you. Don't worry. Look, how about a Heart of Winter? Right... Right here. Still getting shot at by the Hell Cannon. Ugh. How are you shooting shots at us and dodging our own? Good old AI shenanigans. We're so glad that's a thing. Gates are going down fairly quickly. We got a couple of Demon Smiths up here, don't we? Another Death Frost here. I actually finally starting to get some hits on the Hell Cannon. It's starting to flee as well, so it's, I think it's time to move these guys up again. Towers of Belt down. Bring these bear sleds around. Towers down just now. Oh, really, you missed. Or it was just an extra chunky tower. Alright, the Hellcannon's running for its life. Oh, you're still getting some pretty good shots, though. Alright, no more towers, which means you are going to be firing on this section of Fort Wall next. Go ahead and advance, everyone. Now they do have the line rifles getting up on top now. Let's see if we can't get rid of them. A couple of nice quick shots. Run into the hills. Make it on through. See if Laza has a better chance. We'll go for another Death Frost on uh, this mage. Gotta keep an eye out. Ice Guard starting to fire into the Hobgoblins, though, and gets pretty good. Pretty good damage. Dropping her armor. Good strategy. In there and help Lisa. We get another Death Frost win. Very soon. Wouldn't mind grabbing a Frost Fang and uh, blowing up this group of Hobgobos. As soon as I cast, I'm going to be starting to work on the Fire Sorcerer. I strips them apart. Lovely. 
All right, Bear Sleds, you know your job. Oh, same thing here, Griffin Legion. Let's go ahead and move over. Get ready to get a pretty nasty charge straight through the gates. Looks like the Hell Cannon's back, so we will start firing on the Hell Cannon then. We've got one set of gates open for us. Lace and Katarin, go hunt down that Demon Smith. Dalton's blessing. The That's the wrong person there, lass. Pump them down. Catherine's gonna keep blending through here. It doesn't really matter who we tell her to, to, to go get, she's gonna get them all. Uh, Battle Cat, go. From the void they come. Okay, little Grom, doing good work, aren't you? Come stand over here if you're not going to be useful. Uh, you two fire on her. Or this demon smith sorcerer. Get on in there, Katarin. We'll drop the death frost on this poor fool. Here comes the Lamasu. An interesting strategy. Air sleds are moving in. Griffin Legion, let's go get this Lama Sue. The rest of you. We're definitely not worried about a Lama Sue. Archer's up the street there. That's not gonna really get any damage at all. I'm remember for us that that was your strategy. It was a bad one. One out of there. Guardian Cole. Keep pushing through heavy wall slides and just hobgobos. You battle cat, let's go hunt down this lord here. Catherine. It is almost time. Griffin Legion has come through. Just going for the metal spells on our Griffin Legion, which, fair enough, it's actually pretty effective. Air sleds. Just keep. This is the uh, corridor of doom here. Griffin Legion, move in. Catherine just sitting in the middle here and is just not caring at all. In fact, we can just crystal sanctuary if you really want. Get those blazing beards, please. Exactly. I am the squall. I am the squall. Drop the heart of winter here. In fact, no reason to move through. Griffin Legion, all is one. Sleds also. All is one. A gigantic blob of armored doom. They've got their shotguns hiding on the wall. I don't approve at all. Do not approve. Over here and help. Very well. Send by the four. We're just gonna let the ice guard mess them up. Cannons, can you do the same? Finish those blunderbusses off. The uphill charge of the Griffin Legion. Defenders of Kislev. Sleds that are already in melee, just go ahead and push through so you can keep shooting through these poor chorfs. Uh, sleds turn around, run these poor fools down. The shotguns tried their best, it just it wasn't enough. Katarin and Narisa, let's go after it. this group. We'd be able to pick off the rest of these guys just around the, the outskirts here. Oh no, you broke. Those are short four years of shattered. And it looks like army losses got them. They hate to see the draws are embarrassed, so. That was fantastic. All right, a glorious victory against the uh, Ulgatha and the Disciples. Now Astral has a very difficult uh, decision to make. His capital has just fallen, which we are going to 
loot and occupy. Defending this world requires resources. Exactly. Astrogoth has no need for any of these resources. Perfect. It cuts a lion straight. Well, basically, it just it takes away their capital. So he's going to have a, uh, a decision to make. Uzkalak, we will be up against the wall here. So let's not worry about doing any kind of defense upgrades or anything like that. Walls are almost in here. See, again, we don't really want to go for any upgrades because... Yeah, let's see how well the defenses are replenishing. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. None shall question me. We have a 48,000 gold in our treasury now. I'm thinking tenacity or speed. Go speed for Lesa. One land. She has had no issue even. I don't even think I've seen her lose hell since we got her up past for, uh, rank 30. I will go conviction for Arcady. Defy chaos. Boost income for Ursula. And for Valerie over here, we'll snag you, good sir. Compassion. I mean, if anything, I wouldn't mind grabbing some walls here, but we'll see if I even get them. Edition time. We can grab some more Zargrod if we want. I guess we'd spend a little bit of gold repairing up. But I wouldn't mind holding line using Uzkalog as that choke point for all of the Chaos Door forces here. Looks like Kolek has actually taken some of the mountain settlements, which is a little bit, a little bit spooky. Yeah, all right. 34,000 gold. What can we do with it? Drugena. What can we do with it? Nothing up here in the north. That's for sure. I'm back home in Kislev or Prague or even Volksgrad. Gotta wait three turns there. Maxim. Let's the hold cheek fires. up to uh, Strakhov. Commander of the soldiery. Which I wouldn't even mind trying to upgrade Strakhov to try to draw Woolrich in. I think this army can handle him. Something about the uh, the two steam tank volley guns. We'll call you the uh, my magic excels. Uh, Franzer Division. And then I will leave the name for our other volley gun to you all. Best name we'll have theirs added. Of course, we are definitely going to be adding more and more of them. As many volley guns as we can get into our armies. Uh, walls up to the maximum tier there. Same thing at the Forbidden Citadel, which is actually doing really well for itself. So we'll go for the Marcus Square here, and then we can grab... I quite like the Hallowed Wood. For a plenishment. Let's go for the Roadhouse for growth and control, then we can get this thing up to tier 5 as fast as possible. Uh, the walls will go for the Curtain Walls, or the uh, Lower City Ramparts here. Tor's Lightning is such an effective... A tower, a tower projectile. Rock, rock, I definitely love to get the walls in. I just don't know if we're going to be fast enough. We'll go for it all the same. And then the market square, too. Uh, let's get it in there. We can actually probably recruit another lord to defend. Mocha hasn't been moved, and it's because we are waiting on Azag to make his. Nothing but gobos. He's almost... Ice. What I'd like to do instead is we'll come outside the settlement here the blizzard and goes. do some channeling. Come on, Katakatrin. We need your help. Uh, now, now more than ever, we, we just need your help. Can we snag any gold out of our allies here? Looks like the answer is no. But Angrid is coming along towards wanting a military alliance. Yeah, little by little. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and give it one more in turn and see how things play on out. Uh, so we'll chill with Katarin here in the now reclaimed Uzkalak and in her turn. Alright, so they are going to deploy after our Theodora here with a whole bunch. The quadruple skin wolf that I'm mostly worried about. I think the rest of these guys here would just rush in and get killed. They have a lot of skirmish cavalry, which I'm a little bit concerned with. Let's try to fall back and draw them further in. Quietly withdraw. Quietly withdraw. Astrogoth. Retrofitting his army. He's already pretty scary. Retrofitting his armies, though. 
Yadora was forced to take some attrition. The Snowbringer. But he's on a he's on a mammoth. Very good call for us. Storm Summoner. Storm Summoner. Looks like Wilric has fallen back to Winter Pyre. Rosina, ready. Having you defend maybe. Rock and Drock will probably be the, the end goal there for you. Merchant districts here. They've got guys recruiting up trying to take down the settlements we just claimed from them. Which, to be fair, is a, is a good strategy. If they move fast enough, that we they can probably claim them back before I can really do anything about it. Which, while an unfortunate strategy, is still a smart one. My delights are too much for me. The gun the Writhing Fortress has no walls, but you don't need it for the extra. The extra powerful greater wall that raw energy towers. I think not. Alright, so we are gonna then Double pace! Hold cheek. The way is onwards. Back towards the monolith. Never yet. Katie, if you can come on down. Yeah, we're just gonna be pursuing around the smaller, the smaller armies. This is a bit annoying. Here's what we'll do. No higher for Realize you can go into March to reach the Howling Citadel. This I didn't need to come all the way back here with Kevin. I just miscalculated how far we can move there. Unfortunate. All right, here's what also I'm gonna do. Because Things I realize that giving them the settlements is better than letting our our enemy just take them back from us. So we'll go ahead and take the Force of Decay, hand it over to you. Get a trade agreement and a non-aggression pact that fixes our issues with Malice immediately. Sorry, 19,000 gold? Yes, please. Anything else you're willing to do to for kill? some more settlements? How flattering. How foolish. How foolish. Uh, let's go ahead and give you the Volcano's Heart. What settlements do we, 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 can we trade? Oh, no, absolutely not. The volcano's hard for... Only a little bit of gold. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's not a ton. Oh, excuse me. Forty-seven fifty. A little bit of haggling. Almost. There we are. This weakness, or your weakness, is gonna disgust me, but I accept. This way, at least our enemies aren't gonna be retaking those settlements, and Malice will like us quite a bit for it. Crystal Spires is next. We'll do that next turn. Initially, I wasn't going to do this, but since I continue to forget to put in the uh, Climate Adaptability mod, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and play a little bit more, trying to unite even uh, the forces of the Druki. We'll see if we can. This might backfire on us. They're gonna be a much more Frost scary enemy. Let's go ahead and get, steal some tech here from the Winter Pyre. Fantastically done there, Mishka. And now we have a pretty positive income. Interesting. Uh, down here in Erengrad, nothing more that can make us gold. Uh, Fort Osteros, we can upgrade the uh, roads. Sounds perfect. And also we can go for the roadhouse to help out control. Control's actually maxed out, so let's do uh, Eerie Woods and the Toolmaker. Plus, can get it should need to stay at tier one. Got a gun gore, we're gonna go ahead and take up to the third tier as well for the gold mine. Here for laws, we have the walls, go ahead and get the second tier of walls. And all of these Dawi holes will eventually go back to Karakadrin, but for now we must we must maintain control of them for our own uh, our own economy. In the Southern Oblasts, I would prefer to go for Fort Yakova. These these other settlements are not really all that uh, safe. Rock a rock. So they didn't actually move on Crockett Rock. I will go for the upgrade to the Merchant Traders here, as well as... Rolls starting to tick downwards. That's okay. We'll snag the Toolmaker to boost up how much we're making out of these Gym Cutters workshops. I do this for Kislev. For Kislev. 
All right, Katarin. I mean, we just took down his capital, and he didn't have anything to say about it. So what if we come out of here? Follow the frosts. We must go unseen. And just try to lure them on in. We know they've got armies somewhere, so let's see if we can find them. We won't be taking attrition where we're at, so we'll just stay here with that 55% chance. Or a little rash back over. Karak Doom has the walls now, so let's go ahead and immediately get the second tier walls and see if we can get them in fast enough. That's a good. These are good defenders against anything that's not Aurora or a not legendary lord. Alright, Mirko, where are the forces of Azag? Still down here in Fallen King Mountain. Uh, let's go ahead. You've got a fair decent amount of magic. Let's go ahead. Discretion must be employed. Exactly. No attrition, but we'll move to the front of your claws here. Glorious. Who else has not been moved? Of the Our boy Maxim. For the glory of Kislev. So Maxim will have you push up towards Come, the lair of the Troll King. Dance and drink. Sing, dance, and drink. The ice. And then because I don't want Bastion to stay here and keep raiding and getting some experience, we're going to move on this army. And that is what we're going to pick up the next episode with, is a battle against all these filthy, disgusting heretics. For now, though, I'm out of time for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's Ice Court episode. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub zone if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.